A Game Jam is a limited time event in which you or a small team create a game from scratch. That means you're creating the art, sounds, music, code, and doing it all in just a couple of days. That sounds crazy, right? Don't games take years to make? Well, a little crazy can actually lead to a lot of fun. So let's talk about game jams. The first thing you need to know is that every game jam is unique. Some are as short as 12 hours, some as long as a few months. Many give you a theme to follow, and others allow you total creative freedom. You might be allowed to work as a team, or you might have to go it alone. The jam could be in a physical location or completely virtual. There could be prizes, or maybe it's all just for the fun. There are no hard and fast rules when it comes to game jams. Each one is unique. So the next thing you might be asking is, why would anyone join a game jam? It sounds like a lot of work and stress, right? Well, you're totally right, but you're also not seeing how much fun and rewarding they can be at the same time. A game jam forces developers to actually make a playable game by the end. You can't indulge your desires to create the next big MMO or 80 hour RPG. You've only got 48 hours usually. It's a frenetic couple of days full of excitement and enthusiasm. An idea blossoms into a full game by the end, something to share and show off to your friends. You can say, I did this in just two days. What did you do with your weekend? Game Jam started way back in 2002. A long time, right? And I've been going strong since then. In fact, there are so many Game Jams happening right now, I can't even show them all to you on screen. Everyone from every part of the games industry can participate by using their skills. From artists, musicians, animators, and programmers. It's a time of brainstorming, innovative thinking, collaboration, and lots and lots of bug fixing. You can meet amazing people, connect with like-minded people from across the world, and create something wholly unique to you and your team. Sometimes, those games and teams go on to create studios and give their game more time and the love that it deserves, and take it and launch it as a full game. Your favorite game might have been started from a game jam. If you've never participated in a game jam before but want to try one, then do it. The gaming community is one of the best ones out there, especially the jam community. Everyone there remembers how intimidating it can be to try and make a game in such a short amount of time. They will gladly answer your questions, give you ideas, or even team up with you to show you the ropes. There's literally a jam for everyone out there, from the absolute beginners all the way to veterans, to jams with very specific genres, to ones that are completely open, jams that are just for fun, and jams with huge cash prizes. Any kind of developer can join a game jam. Nobody's going to judge a musician who can't draw. Everyone was on that same tight deadline. Not sure how to code? Team up and create something awesome together. And remember that the most important thing about a game jam, the one that everybody talks about, is the journey. It's about how much fun you had participating in it. Yeah, it's awesome to win, especially if there's a cool prize. But the people you meet, the lessons you learn, and the fun you have are really the best reasons to join a game jam. My first game jam was years ago, but I can still remember it because it was frenetic, it was crazy, there was deadlines that we were striving to meet, and I was a completely new game developer. I met my mentor in that, and he coached me along the way. He held my hand and taught me the ropes of game development in a software I had never used before. It was that game jam that led to my love of game development. So if you ever think you might want to try one, then just do it. I guarantee there's one happening this weekend, so try it out. And if you have any comments or stories of your game jams, leave them below. I'd love to hear about it. As always, keep making, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later.